Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. This is Living in Denver, Colorado. Today, a little bit more focused toward you New Yorkers. However, a lot of great points that are gonna be across the board, good for everybody. But today it's gonna be moving from New York to Denver. Should you, should you not? And everything you need to know. Let's check it out. What's up guys? We are the Mile High Property Brothers. I am Eli Schmidt. This is my partner, Will Grimes. If it's your first time checking our channel out, guys, while you're here, hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell, because I'm guessing you're here because you want to know about moving to Denver. And fun fact, we come out with new videos every Tuesday and Thursday and tell you just about that. Correct, and we are licensed brokers in the state of Colorado, which means as much as we love making these videos, we would love more to help you with your real estate needs. So that number popping up below, we are the guys who answer the phone calls and the text messages. We're also the guys who answer the emails. More specifically, Eli is the guy who handles those emails. We get super elongated, in-depth, phenomenal <laughs> emails points, from, cu from customers. He does a great job responding back. But with that being said, we would love to help you guys out. Let's get right into it. We're gonna be talking about New York to Denver. Should you move here and everything that you need to know. guys so like a lot of our videos as you guys know by now if you've been following us for a while we make a lot of these videos based off of real-time search results and real-time questions that we're getting from people so I can't remember his screen name but a couple weeks ago we had a guy say hey you should do a moving from New York to Denver so this is just for you when you watch this you'll know who like, you hey, are you should do from New York to Denver <laughs> hey I feel like I, I read for that I read the comment just like that I was waiting for that I had a quarter for every time I heard that since you learned to talk I'd have a private jet on 24 hours standby so guys we definitely wanted to make this video and just kind of point out a lot of the key differences uh, some obvious some maybe not so obvious for you New Yorkers who are thinking about coming this way blogs across the board when we've done our research and from people that we know specifically that have moved from New York to Colorado one of the biggest things was it was a lot easier to make friends and just socialize yeah. in Denver versus New York now that could be a ego thing it could be a whatever joke you want to put on it thing it could also be just like how busy that state is and everybody like it's very walkable in the heart of that city everybody's got somewhere to be and they're already five minutes late or 20 minutes late whatever that looks like and they've also probably just got their little circles that they communicate with i've been in new york a couple of times i got that vibe from folks yeah. i did not get it from like a negative like they didn't want to say hi or talk to me i felt like they were just getting after it yeah denver very up and coming right not as big as as new york but very up and coming a lot of professional districts out here as far as the hustle and bustle yet not to a point where people don't say hello right so yeah. as far as socializing and getting out of here just also you know and maybe maybe it's different in new york but we've got a lot of outdoor activity out here right so whether it's snowboarding and skiing getting out to just different clubs and events and a lot of golf courses out here there's just so much to do you kind of want to make friends and go out and do some yeah, things and yeah. i know there's a lot of private facebook groups where you can find new friends. We have one for all of our clients who move here, so we, we push you right into some really cool folks to, to, to get to know some new people. But I think long story long here is just getting into like a social status of meeting new people and having a good time, a lot easier here versus New York. Speaking to a couple of his points, which are exactly spot on, we, you know, in doing research for these videos, especially ones like this, where I don't have context living in New York, we like to get on blogs and just watch from, you know, other people who have content out there from their experience of living in New York versus moving to Denver. Right. And one of the exact things he said was in Denver, or in, in New York, you've got people that are very, they have their social circle. Right. And part of it probably has to do with the fact that there's 9 million people in New York City and and there's not even 700,000 people in downtown Denver, in, in Denver County. You can breathe a little. You can breathe a little, and man, there's just not as many people. You're not having to try and make friends out of a pool of nine million. You got a just much smaller pool. Right. So it's kind of easier to click and connect, and then specifically, like you had mentioned about activities, he said so many people in Denver, with there being just so many active things to do, like hiking and skiing and boating and everything that there is to do out here, he was like, it is much easier just to meet someone new and have yeah. someone to go ski with, have someone to go to the dog park with on doggy play dates and things like that. Play dates or maybe your social status is you're looking to date somebody, whoever, you know, yeah. who, who knows. I will say, if you're a Mets fan, 
you're used to losing, you're gonna fit right in because the Rockies tend to trade a lot of players and they, they like losing. If you're a Yankee fan, you're my kind of people. That's right. Keep your Yankee status, support that club. They're great. Mets, you also tend to be a little bit of a Debbie Downer. Uh, maybe it's because you guys are losing really? a lot, but. Tragic is the absolute worst. I'm not gonna get to my game now because they are incompetent. Just don't bring that clout here. We've already got enough of it with this baseball. However, if you are a Mets fan, enjoy some basketball and some football because we've got some great other professional sports here that will cheer you right up. And while you're there, put a Bronco jersey on. Say hello to the guy drinking a beer next to you. Have a great time. There we go. Let's go to uh, cost of living. So Ooh. as far as how far your dollar will go out here, so uh, as a little comparison, if you make, and this was just numbers we saw online, so for easy math, I'm gonna use them. Let's say if you make $170,000 here in Denver. You probably have to make 250 Man, in New York. So good, so good. Freaking Rain Man over here. Calculated. That's right. I think you could show me some appreciation. A little appreciation? Do you know how easy this is for me? So to dive into some specifics as far as those numbers go, uh, talking housing specifically, New York, you're looking at about a 59% increase in housing out there. For utilities, utilities out here are about 17% cheaper. So just between utilities and housing, guys, you are gonna save a ton of money coming out here to Colorado, provided you can maybe keep New York income or at least similar. And I will say like, man, if, if it's because you can work remote, so you don't necessarily have to be in, in, in New York anymore, like there's just some different things that you wanna look up, please watch some of our other videos as well. We go over a lot of different areas, but the biggest thing about Colorado is just that lifestyle, right? Of just yep. getting out and socializing. And yes, even though we have winters, we have more sunny days than Florida to here so even in the winter when it snows the sun comes back out within a couple of days but you've also got a lot of really cool stuff in the mountains in the winter mm -hmm. and the spring and the summer and the fall there's just a lot of cool stuff to do here my wife yep she works for a company a pretty big company out of new york but obviously we live here right so there's a lot of cool things you can do remote but man if you're looking at where should you go and should it be denver i would definitely be looking at this channel definitely making some phone calls and definitely turning that denver stone as far as like what everything is and what it looks like for you moving here. A hundred percent. And uh, speaking to a couple just lifestyle points for you guys. Um, in Denver. Thought he was going to say marijuana. In De No, no. In a Denver. A little pothead friend. He hasn't brought it up yet. <laughs> I haven't. It's not on the list either. Surprise. <laughs> Surprise. Uh, you guys, in Denver, you're going to have to ha have a car. Like right. if you're living right downtown and maybe you're working at a restaurant and you live downtown or you're working. Like, Chances are, guys, if you're gonna to wanna to go to anything fun, you're gonna to have to yes. have a car. So no, you don't have to if you work downtown and you live downtown or maybe you can use public transportation. Or even if you don't work uh, live downtown, but you're within the, the map as far as like where the light rail stations all go from suburbia into downtown. Technically, no, you wouldn't have yeah. to, but as far as like how we see it, you're gonna to wanna to get out and have a great time and enjoy the mountains, enjoy the sand dunes and different things that you can do here. And no, you're not gonna really get to some of those destinations unless you have a car because no, the light rails do not go into the mountains. Other lifestyle changes here, lifestyle differences. Lack of accent, you don't have any Rocky Balboas no here. No accents here. No Rocky no. Balboas, no like what neighborhood, like you don't have as much social status, right? So as far as like, you know, like a lot of the East East Coast, yeah. where are you from or what neighborhood are you from? Like you've got so many people that have moved here to Colorado. It's really cool hearing everybody else's story, but there isn't as much social status as far as uh -huh. like, whether you live in the Browns or not. And who your family's from, like it's more about like, are you a good dude and you treat people cool? And if so, you're in. Yeah. You know, and a lot of folks just, there's just not as much, like there's fashion here, just not so much where it makes a statement. And believe it or not, a true. lot of your wealthy folks wear Birkenstocks or Crocs out here and maybe a hoodie, right? It's true. Because it's just a little bit more of an outdoorsy, low-key place. And I think by nature, 
that eliminates a lot of what you might consider labels for social mm -hmm. statuses and people just about being being kind and being good folks here. Yeah, they really are. Um, again, on, on these blogs that we were looking at and re doing research from other um, you know folks actually from New York, man, one thing that a lot of them said was just how friendly and just down to earth pe people are. And that's definitely in relation to like what yeah. Will said about social status and stuff. But he was like, man, I'm just here and you know, there's tons of Facebook groups where people are super friendly. If I'm trying to make new friends in a new state and have people to go do fun things with or show me around, there's a lot of private Facebook groups out there that are specifically from people who have moved to Colorado. Like Will right. mentioned, we've got a private one for our Facebook or for our, from our YouTube clients that move here from out of state. But guys, there's just so many positives from coming to New York versus here, the cost of living, the active lifestyle, the friendly people that are here. You still get a lot of I don't really want to call this a big city because we are a, man, we're a, we're a toddler city in yeah. comparison to New York. Correct. Uh, you know, especially when you look at 700,000 versus I think it's 9 in the top million. 10 around the country, potentially. But it's this good blend of people that are, they love business, they love getting after it. There is a good pace here, but yeah. come the weekend, yeah, people are paddle boarding and going yeah. hiking and there's a really good balance. Well, even politically, not to get too, too into politics no, or anything like that, that but what I will say is because we've got so many people from different walks of life in different areas of the country and where they were raised, You've got Republicans and Democrats and Independents and everybody, but not so much one-sided toward anything to where it causes a problem, right? Like people are more into like doing what they're doing and making sure you're a good person whether they yeah. hang out. So like I've got tons of friends where no, I don't think we have this, the same political views and no, don't assume mine or something because they're probably not what you think. However, the bottom line is it's not important to everybody and your yeah. political views don't necessarily get you into a circle. It's more about how you cheat everybody, but it's a lot of fun here. Fitness is huge here. That's gonna be another great yeah. precursor to why people are so friendly, but as far as being an active state in the snowboarding and the hiking and the, and the wakeboarding, just fitness in general. Colorado is one of your most active states, period. Man, I'm, I'm not sure what the science looks like on that, but I promise you it's got something to do with having a good mood and a good head on your shoulders and being positive. It's true. My final point here, I, I think guys, when you come out to Denver, if you're thinking about moving out here, maybe you come out to visit, just be prepared and explore. Like just explore Colorado. And that's one of the funnest things. Like I know when you moved to New York, you're probably in New York. There's so much of New York City to see. It's probably hard to get out of it and to even see it all. But in Colorado, man, you're a 45 minute drive from some gorgeous scenery. You're two hours from being deep in the mountains. And, and your dollar goes like, so much oh, further. Your dollar goes so much the type further. the house you can buy man. so much bigger. Like yeah. you can really enjoy Colorado for it's everything true. it has to offer. It's true, it's true. And hey, we'll make sure you get in the right circles. Hey. We'll make sure you get in with the good people. You I'm know? not even gonna try. Make sure there's no fugazi. You know, <laughs> you get the good people, you get put in a good room. Oh, you got man. a problem? We'll take care. You make a good New Yorker, man. You do. I'm doing my best. And where does that come from? Being passionate about helping you guys with your yep. real estate needs because yes, again, we are licensed brokers in the state of Colorado. And as much as we love having fun and making these videos for you, we would love more to help you with your real estate needs. So that number popping back up below. We are the guys to answer the phone calls and the text messages and the emails. Like it if you like it. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. But until next time, guys, we'll see you on the next video. See you guys.